Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 25 of 2018 and Edict 26 of 2018. Edict 25 of 2018 stipulated the amending of Article 1 of Edict 32 of 2011 regarding creation and formation of the National Committee for Unified Purchases of Medicines. The committee has been restructured as follows. Professor Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa as chairman. Aisha Adil Al Balushi as representative of the Royal Medical Services as deputy chairperson. Seema Muhammad Zainal as representative of the Ministry of Health. Ru'ya Muhammad Al Abbasi representing the National Health Regularity Authority. Rahab Ahmad Al Nuaimi representing the Ministry of Health. Wajdan Saleh Minazal representing the Ministry of Health. Health. Fadi Samir Ayyub representing King Hamad University Hospital, Fahmida Khan Muhammad as representative of the Muhammad bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Specialist Center for Cardiology, Ayat Shawqi representing Ministry of Health as committee rapporteur. Edict 26 of 2018 stipulated replacing the president of the Royal College of Surgeons RCSI, Bahrain's Medical University, Dr. Samir Al Itoum, by Dr. Dr. Mazin Mohammed Juma as a representative of private universities in the advisory committee of Bahrain's quality assurance of education and training to complete the term of his predecessor. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, Samir Abdullah Nas, in the presence of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani at Rifa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of strengthening the role of the private sector as the main driver of the Kingdom's development by enhancing the business environment and diversifying key sectors. His Royal Highness noted the goal of delivering sustainable development is enshrined within Bahrain's economic vision 2030, which seeks to create the necessary infrastructure to support investment, encourage entrepreneurship and provide opportunities for citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the importance of initiating programs to diversify and increase government revenues in order to capitalize on the Kingdom's long-term economic growth and ensure its sustainability. He further stressed the importance of strengthening the efficiency of the government spending in order to serve the Kingdom's key sectors to meet the requirements of sustainable development and to facilitate quality opportunities for the Kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness went on to highlight the role of the BCCI in supporting economic development and increasing the private sector's contribution to GDP, in particular through programs to strengthen small and medium enterprises. The chairman of the BCCI expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and to discuss how BCCI can further contribute to the Kingdom's economic development. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated Bahrain Scientific Center for Sustainable Development Goals under the Ministry of Youth and Sports as the first center of its kind in the world that serves the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. At the inauguration, a number of ministers and officials in the kingdom were present. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain became one of the leading first world countries in the field of sustainable development and in prioritizing achieving its goals in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aims to enhance a developmental system that is able to build the best example in the region which was clearly stated by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Al Khalifa in the Government Action Program. His Highness noted that the Kingdom prioritizes investment in youth to develop their skills. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Bahraini national identity will be evident in creating the center's programs, expressing pride in Bahraini national calibers who will direct the center. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the leading role of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, led by its Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, in developing this center and book providing it with a Bahraini identity and excellent programs. 
For his part, Minister al Jodar stated that the center comes in line with the directives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to activate the kingdom's role in the scientific field to achieve the goals of sustainable development, noting that the ministry has developed a remarkable plan for the center with its Bahraini identity that is in accordance with the kingdom's approach of achieving the sustainable development goals. The minister added that the center will reflect the kingdom's world pioneership in enabling the youth and encouraging them to lead the scene of sustainable development in the kingdom. He also affirmed that the center is considering the first government building to install photovoltaic cells on the front of the building to provide clean energy and protect the environment from polluters. In line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to develop urgent solutions to increase the flow of traffic throughout Bahrain's road network, the Minister of Work, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, said that the ministry completed expansion works at the intersection of Airport Road and Sheikh Salman Road. The works form a part of the second optimization package to ease the congestion at major intersections throughout the kingdom. The expansion included the addition of a lane to allow a left turn at the intersection of Sheikh Salman Road and Airport Road 203-207 near the Social Welfare Center in Muharraqa. The project will permit faster access to the intersection of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Bridge and Muharraq Northern Health Center, in addition to easing congestion for visitors to Muharraq Central Market. This project will increase the capacity of Sheikh Salman Road by 75%, improve the efficiency of the intersection, and reduce the waiting time on the intersection with Airport Road by 25%. For the fourth week, UCD 2030 organizes an area of professional programs with accredited certificates to impart youth with leadership skills and prepare them to enter the job market in accordance to the realistic requirements of the labor market. More in this report. Professionally organized practical projects formulated according to scientific studies are ongoing for the fourth week, focusing on key growth areas of Bahraini youth, aiming to promote creative thinking among them and encourage talent in areas such as leadership, media, information technology, arts, languages, science and sports, confirming the Ministry of Youth and Sports commitment to prepare them to enter the labor market in accordance to the realistic requirements of Bahrain and the world. I've learned uh, so many things through this program. One of them was um, learning how to create many paintings using the different medias. And the most important thing I have learned in this program was time management. We, we, we learned how to finish a full painting within, within um, five or four days. For example, techniques about exercise, the safety points, for example, in squat, you have to lift your chest and uh, make your back straight when you go down. And uh, also about the nutrition. I actually joined this program not only to be a coach, also to be a coach to myself. So I can uh, know what, what to eat and I can know uh, the vitamins I need and th this stuff. The life-changing experience is nourishing their dreams and providing them with new skills and additional knowledge to help them excel in their scientific and practical lives, moreover their artistic abilities. I've been uh, a participant in Youth City since eight years, but in Star Maker from three years. And my experience in this program is like really great. Um, I've, de I've developed my singing skills, my guitar skills and I really recommend participating in Star Maker if you really want to develop your musical skills. There are many different effects that those two different programs had but the main effect that I learned was patience. In mixed sports you get tired, you get beaten up but you still have to keep going. In the international kitchen you work in a very stressful environment but you have to get the food ready and up to par for the customers to be satisfied. So the patience levels that I learned have increased by a different level. 
Youth City 2030 is based on the principles of Bahrain's vision of sustainability, justice and competitiveness. And since strong leaders are necessary for development, and the youngsters of today are the leaders of tomorrow, such programs and activities are the best investment for a bright future. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdel